As we are learning unified approach and use case-driven development, I should have cover methodologies like Booch, Rumbaugh, and Jacobson. But I didn't, don't worry I will definitely cover these topics in future. Enough talk. Let's get into the video where you will learn what is unified approach, types of unified approach based on diagrams. What is UML and some of other diagrams which is generally used in the industry? Unified approach, the unified approach, is a methodology for software development that is proposed by the author, Ali Barami in 1999. The unified approach, based on methodologies by Booch, Rumbaugh, and Jacobson. The idea behind the unified approach is not to introduce yet another methodology. The main motivation here is to combine the best practices, processes, methodologies, and guidelines along with UML notations and diagrams for better understanding of object-oriented concepts and system development. The unified approach to software development revolves around, but is not limited, to these processes and concepts. Use case-driven development, object-oriented analysis, object-oriented design, incremental development, prototyping, and continuous testing. Now moving to UML, UML is the current notation of choice for most enterprise application developers. The unified modeling language is, as its name implies, a modeling language to achieve unified approach. On a note it's definitely not a method or process. UML is made up of a very specific notation and the related grammatical rules for constructing software models. There are varieties of diagrams used in UML. For example, use case diagram, class diagram, activity diagram, sequence diagram. We will look at those one by one later in this video. Before that, there are two main categories, structure diagrams and behavioral diagrams. These are come under structure diagrams and these are behavioral diagrams. Structure diagrams show the things in the modeled system. In a more technical term, they show different objects in a system. Behavioral diagrams show what should happen in a system. They describe how the objects interact with each other to create a functioning system. Starting with structure diagrams. Class diagrams, class diagrams are the main building block of any object-oriented solution. It shows the classes in a system, attributes, and operations of each class, and the relationship between classes. A class has three parts. Name at the top, attributes in the middle and operations or methods at the bottom. Classes are grouped together to create class diagrams. Different types of arrows shows the different relationships between classes. Object diagrams, object diagrams sometimes referred to as instance diagrams, are very similar to class diagrams. Like class diagrams, they also show the relationship between objects, but they use real-world examples. They show how a system will look like at a given time. Because there is data available in the objects, they are used to explain complex relationships between objects. Similarly, we have package diagrams. Package diagrams as the name suggests, a package diagram shows the dependencies between different packages in a system. Let's see some of behavioral diagrams. First of all use case diagram, Use case diagram as the most known diagram type of the behavioral UML types. Use case diagrams give a graphic overview of the actors involved in a system, different functions needed by those actors and how these different functions interact. It's a great starting point for any project discussion because you can easily identify the main actors involved and the main processes of the system. Activity diagrams. Activity diagrams represent workflows in a graphical way. They can be used to describe the business workflow or the operational workflow of any component in a system. Sometimes activity diagrams are used as an alternative to state machine diagrams. State diagrams State diagrams are similar to activity diagrams, although notations and usage change a bit. They are sometimes known as state chart diagrams as well. These are very useful to describe the behavior of objects that act differently according to the state they are in at the moment. Sequence diagrams In UML sequence diagrams show how objects interact with each other and the order those interactions occur. It's important to note that they show the interactions for a particular scenario.
the processes are represented vertically and interactions are shown as arrows. There are other diagrams available too, but these are the few which is mostly used in the software industry. I hope I made unified approach easy for you to understand, since it is the most confusing topic among students, especially those who only open the book at the last night of exams. Well, that is why I am here. Well that is for today, we'll see you in the next video. If you find this video helpful, then like this video, and subscribe for more informational video on science and engineering, complex topics with simplified way. Bye, and take care.